airplane who was recently inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Paul Kantner. Hey, man. Are we famous yet? Are we famous yet? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, if you have to make a quick exit, I see you're ready. I have my weapons, I have my drugs, I have my girlfriend. All right, then. He is the author of Your Sacred Self, Making the Decision to Be Free, which is now available in paperback, Dr. Wayne Dyer. She is known as America's toughest family court judge and author of Don't Pee on My Leg and Tell Me It's Raining. Comedian, his newest film, Rough Magic, will be in theaters later this year. My old friend, Paul Rodriguez. Hey, hey buddy. How are you? <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Uh, sit right up. Thank and, you. Uh, <laughs> we have a... Uh, Likewise. A recently breaking story. This happened, was on the wires just a couple of uh, hours ago. Uh, if anybody been following the Warren Moon case, he was just acquitted. Oh, come now. It took a, <laughs> it took a jury uh, 27 minutes. If you don't know the case, his, uh, he was accused of beating his wife and then she didn't want to testify against him and it came out in court that he choked her and left marks and there was a, uh, he followed her in the car. There was a hundred mile an hour uh, car chase, which by the way broke OJ's record by 60 miles. <laughs> Um, can I say something? Oh, that's what you're for. regard, before we get into the political correct side of this, is that I've never beaten a woman in my life. I've never even come close. I mean, it was stupid. What that stupid. deserves applause yeah, well, today. <laughs> I've never beaten a woman. <laughs> Christ. And what a stupid thing to do. But there are times when women say to men things that if another man said to, to, to the, those things to you, you would have no recourse but to just <laughs> punch them in the face or slink away like a coward. Women have the mouth and, and they get at you and can say things to you that, you that men can't say to you. So what do you do? I got uh, Yeah, well, I learned finally to do to one of the women who did that to me that the only, only recourse is to get even more vile than them verbally. And it completely shuts them down. But I, I, if you really want to get to the politically correct side of things, I think that in, in the beginning, women should take uh, uh, could take good notice. Not well, you know, say, I, I say these horrible say things. That, uh, I, I myself have never beaten a woman either. In, in, oh God, but. Yeah! We have a dark secret. Actually, there's a, there's a, there's a folk song. It's not going to be a secret much longer. No, no, it isn't. There's a folk song that actually uh, uh, encourages this machismo stuff to, to slap, slap your wife around and stuff. Not that I, I agree with it. But I will tell you this. Had O.J. been married to a, to a Mexican woman named Lupe, uh, we, we would have been mourning his loss now. I never knew what domestic violence was. Well, because my mother outweighed my father by a good 100 pounds. <laughs> I, think, I think it might sound to you all a very simplistic way of solving domestic violence. I think that women should always outweigh the man. When you outweigh a man, this, this puts an end to this. Okay. Well, we have an issue here. We will apparently get to it in the next segment. Now you were trying to say. That's okay. I'll curse the clean mouth, mouth and a civil right. mind. Yeah. The definitive response. <laughs> yes, there you go, Judge. The the yes. From a Jewish judge. Go, go. And the New York. The definition in the Jewish religion of domestic violence is if you think about hitting your wife, you don't have to do it. 
Oh, Just come on. after that, think about it. Sounds like Catholics. Is that Catholics? Oh, I was Catholic, and it sounds like Catholics. Sounds like Catholics? Yeah, yeah they're the, the near occasion of sin is what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they do? Uh, yeah, no. You even think about it, you're going to go to hell for <laughs> it's, it's weeks. It's the Jimmy Carter philosophy. Uh, but, but this represents, these guys represent a problem, and the problem is you know, people, make, people make light of no. abuse, domestic abuse, that really negatively impacts on kids. You know, that's what I see every time. Oh, easily. Yeah. Yeah. She never hit that, a woman. That, that, I, that's one of the biggest concerns I have with them, especially teenage daughters. And, and is, I've already had one experience with that, and uh, uh, I don't think there's anything funny about it. I mean, I think that uh, it's in the news a lot these days. The case, with, uh, the case with Warren Moon presents a different problem. And the problem is, what do you do in those cases where after the heat of the moment and things calm down, Woman says, or a man. She changed her testimony, man, look, bit, didn't she? I don't, I don't want to prosecute this case because I want to keep my relationship or my marriage mm -hmm. intact. Maybe she just want far, another beat. And how far, no? And how far should the government go? You know, after somebody slaps you around like that, the last thing you want to do is is is, is testify against that, it. No, yeah. that diminishes it. She goes, it, I don't want no more. I learned the first time. It diminishes it. Diminishes it because I don't think that that's yeah, where it's at. Yeah, let me disagree with you in one second. The reason I make light of things like that, I make light of everything. If I didn't, yes. I'd be insane. Of, yeah, of course. But if you, but if, but if people, if people look at what happened today and say, well, should the government get involved with people's lives? I mean, how far do we go and no. get involved? No. The no. 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 The answer is no. no. But the government has to get involved. Has to get involved in the lives. The government of children. is incompetent right now. Of children. Uh, government is incompetent. I'm not. Politics incompetent. is over. Look the world me. is going into chaos, and you're trying to regulate these poor bunch of psychotics oh who are being their lives. You haven't a hope in the world. Am I sitting next to somebody who considers themselves a psychotic? I'm a very gentle hippie from San Francisco with love and peace and flowers. So you know why? <laughs> I do not hurt my kid. My kid is out in the audience right now. She will tell you what a wonderful father I am. Would you tell me? But her mother once came after me with a scimitar Arab blade, drunken. I looked at her and laughed and threw a bedspread over her, took the knife away, threw it over the balcony, and, and how la laughed. In a box. I taped her up. I taped her up with, with a rock and roll gaffer's tape, it's called, like plumbing tape, for 10 minutes. She said it was the best move I ever made in my life, and she laughed about it. Because she knows she was completely up at the time on alcohol and she had a good time on it and I did the right thing and I didn't hurt her. Let's let Dr. Wayne talk to Dr. Dr. Wayne. Watching Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher here at Comedy Central. At 11.30, watch Saturday Night Live. What is that? That is unbelievable. A mysterious stranger just came to town. Does she have a boyfriend? A girl like that's born with a boyfriend.